Hey guys, my name is Shubham Kesh Duwal and today in this video I would be talking to you guys about the Redmi Note 4 from Xiaomi which is a device which might get launched in India really very soon. So it is a device which Xiaomi announced like maybe one to two months back in China and and yeah I made a video about it when it launched and you can take a look at it over here in case you are interested and in this video particularly let us talk about it being launched here in the Indian market. So I personally wasn't expecting it but yeah the device is speculated now to be launched here in India. How come I know about it? We will be talking about that in this video and also I would be telling you guys what changes occur to the device's hardware or software when it gets launched here in the Indian market. Let's get started and now talk about the device in itself. So first and the foremost thing about what I would like to tell you guys is how come I know about all of this stuff. So directly I wouldn't have known that ever but one of my friends was planning to buy the Redmi Note 4 back from China. He was planning to import the device and then use it and whatever. So he contacted the customer care and asked them about the whole procedure thing about behind you know importing the device and stuff like that and when he contacted them and asked them if he would be able to import import the device they actually told him that he didn't need to do that and that is because the Redmi Note 4 was coming to India in January 2017. So well yeah this is the official statement by official customer care executives from Xiaomi but the company in itself hasn't made any announcement on any of the social platforms or any other stuff and they haven't said anything about the Redmi Note 4's launch here in India. So obviously the device wouldn't be coming with the exact same specifications as that of the Chinese variant because First of all, it has a Helio processor and Xiaomi cannot launch phones with Helio or MediaTek processors here in India. And because the company would have to target the mid-range market here in India, about the 15,000 Indian rupees price tag, we can definitely not expect it to launch the device with the processor in the 800 series of Snapdragon processors or something like that. So two options left for the company, either they develop their own processor, which is very unlikely, and other one is that they go with the Snapdragon 6. 100 range of you know processors so in the 600 range we have the latest processor the 652 processor and that is all for what i can guess the device would be having because 650 processor is what the redmi note 3 was having and definitely they wouldn't be using the same processor right so the 652 processor is what i am betting upon this smartphone but when compared to the helio x20 processor on the redmi note 4 chinese variant i can say that it would be a degrade in the performance overall so it would be interesting to see if the company manages to provide a better hardware and software optimization to improve the overall performance but my guesses are this would be a weaker device when compared to the x20 processor helio x20 processor device which was launched back in china originally so now i don't expect that this smartphone would be having any other specification change but previously the company surprised us by providing an upgrade in the camera too so where the redmi note 3's chinese variant was having the 13 megapixel camera sensor at the back Back, the Redmi Note 3 here in India was having a 16 megapixel camera and was called the Pro variant and thus I am expecting that maybe just maybe out of nowhere the company might do that with the Redmi Note 4 too. Yeah we don't have much to talk about the device but the main news is that and the most important news is that that device is getting launched in January 2017 and that is one of the best parts about the Redmi Note 4. So I am really very excited and I might get my hands on the device really very soon as soon as it launches. I would do my best and try my best to actually get my get the device for myself and yeah in case I would be getting it obviously I would be reviewing it so yeah stay tuned to the channel by subscribing to it if you want to take a look at more news around the Redmi Note 4 and most probably the device itself and yeah that is basically it for what I wanted to tell you guys in this video so you know what to do hit the thumbs up button subscribe to this channel for more such videos share this video with everyone that you know and also comment down below any query that you might have about this smartphone or anything related to technology that being basically it my name is Shubham Kejriwal thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video